It is a lovely little day in Toyland. And Noddy is giving his friend, Clockwork Mouse, a ride in his taxi. Thanks for the ride, Noddy. Can you drop me off at Dinah Doll's store? Yes, Clockwork Mouse. Thank you so much. Oh, I need winding. Oh, thanks, Noddy. When my spring runs down, I always need someone to turn my key. Well, I'm glad to help, especially since your key is so little. It's easy to turn. How much do I owe you for the taxi ride, Noddy? Nothing. I'm happy to give you a ride for free. Wow, thanks, Noddy. That's OK. If I was as small as you, I would enjoy a ride once in a while. Oh, thanks. Dino Doll, excuse me. Skittles, please. Will you children be quiet? I'm trying to talk to Dino Doll. Excuse me, Mrs. Skittle, but I am not one of your children. But you're small enough to look like one of them. <laughs> hey, be careful! <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Oh, I'm sorry, Clockwork Mouse. I didn't see you down there. I'll be with you in a moment. Never mind. I'll come back later, when there aren't so many big folks around. I'm sorry, Clockwork Mouse. I didn't see you down there. Seems like nobody ever sees me. Would you like another ride somewhere? Yes. I think I'd like to visit my best friend, Mr Jumbo. Here we are, Clockwork Mouse. See, it wasn't that far. Maybe for you, Noddy, but everywhere is far when you have legs as little as mine. Well, if you aren't going to stay long, I'll wait for you. Thanks, Noddy. That would be nice. Hello, Mr Jumbo. Hiya, Clockwork Mouse. How are you? Oh, I'm not feeling very good today. Why? What's the matter? I'm tired of being small. Why do you think you're small? Because everyone bends over when they talk to me. Oh, sorry. It's no fun being small. Your legs are too short, you cannot reach anything, and everybody nearly steps on you. There are good and bad things about being small and being big. It doesn't matter what size you are. No, being small is all bad. Well, I like you just the way you are. Besides, you're not short. What? Look at me. I'm hardly taller than Bumpy Dog. Oh, I wish I was big like you. Then people would pay attention to me. Oh dear, you've got yourself all worked up. And now you need winding again. There you go. Whoa. Thanks for winding me up, Jumbo. And thanks for listening. How do you do that? Oh, it's a special plant food I made up. It makes very small flowers as big as the other ones. Isn't it amazing? Well, I've got to go. But don't worry, I'm sure you'll feel better very soon. Mm. Wow! Now I'm as tall as Noddy! Back to town, Noddy. Are you all right? You seem, uh, different somehow. Nope. Everything's just fine. <laughs> Hello, Martha Monkey. Notice anything new about me? Yeah. Your ears are pink. No. Can't you see that I'm taller? Mm, maybe a little, but not taller than me. <laughs> oh, I'm 
I'm still not big enough. I need more special spray. Noddy, please take me back to Mr. Jumbo's house and hurry. What have you been doing? Yes, now I'm bigger than Martha Monkey, bigger than Mr. Wobbly Man, bigger than Mr. Jumbo. You're even bigger than Mr. Jumbo's house. I want to show everyone how big I am, Noddy. Please drive me back to town. I can't, Clockwork Mouse. You're too big for my car. Hmm? So I am. Say, now I've got big legs, I can walk to town in a hurry. Make way, everyone! Here comes a giant! Look, everyone! I'm not smaller than you anymore. Now I'm bigger than everything! Miss Pink Cat, can I have a large ice cream now? Is that you, Clockwork Mouse? I'll be right out. Oh! Uh, here you go. Mmm, I'm still hungry. Could I have a hundred more, please? Well, that will c cost you about a hundred coins, Mr. Mouse. I don't have that much money. Oh, well, I don't need ice cream and I don't need taxis. I can walk across town in a few steps. <gasps> Goodness me! Clockwork Mouse, I don't care if you are a giant. You put my police station back where it belongs right now. I'm sorry, Mr. Plod. I should put you in jail. If you could fit, that is. OK. I'm leaving now. Oh, what's up, Clockwork Mouse? Oh, oh, dear. I'm so sorry. I didn't see you down there. Run away, everyone. This giant mouse may step on you. No, I didn't mean to. Oh, I need Noddy. Where is Noddy? Noddy! Noddy! Are you in there? Help me, Noddy. I don't like being big anymore. I can't buy ice cream. I can't ride in your car. And everyone is afraid of me. Plus, my spring is winding down. Sorry, Mouse, but nobody can wind you up again. You're just too big. But I sent for Mr. Jumbo. This is a different spray that I used to make weeds smaller. Maybe it will work on Clockwork Mouse. Uh, you saved me, Mr. Jumbo. Thank you. Being tall is not as much fun as I thought it would be. Oh, dear Clockwork Mouse, we are sorry. We didn't realise how sad you were being small. Yes. And I promise to pay attention to you when you come to my stall. And I'll still give you free taxi rides. And free ice cream. You know, there are good things about being small after all. I'll say, an ant, a whale, a horse, a snail. Who cares if we are short or tall, big or small? A bear, a bee, and you. We're simply perfect, one and all, big or small. Oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs>